Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy. How are you doing? I'm doing better. Thank you so much for your prayers, everybody. I mean, I have never, well, I get migraines ever so often, but you know, it, it just really hit me pretty hard. Um, I had the privilege of preaching in Pruel, uh, Oklahoma this weekend. And uh, so I on Sunday, I preached in the central unit, preached in the mineral unit. And somewhere on the way there, um, I just started getting a headache. No big deal. I've had headaches before. And, um, I mean, I love to preach. I'm not going to give up any opportunity. So I got the, the, the certain, went to preach. My cousin showed up and, and I preached in this wonderful church and some of the God in Peru and got to hang out with the pastor and his wife and, and, uh, just had an amazing time with this church, and what an amazing church, by the way. If you live in Oklahoma, around that Peru area, check this church out. Um, but uh, yeah, preached, even heard myself stumble over some words, but man, my head was was banging. Uh, went out to eat with the pastors, and, and then uh, that night, just my headache progressively got worse. And uh, drove home, thought, okay, I'm going to eat something, going to continue to drink my water, do the things I usually do. Got home, um, went right to bed, literally slept the whole day and, and uh, into the night. So my migraine didn't get any better. In fact, it's still there. So I'm just taking it really slow. So... Anyways, thanks for your prayers. Good, good morning, Miss Gazel. Um, Ephesians 4.32 is the passage of scripture we have this morning. But uh, here's what it says. It says, be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another as God has Christ forgave you. Now, this is the coolest verse, but also like one of the most difficult verse. I mean, um... I grew up a family that, you know, you do to me, I'm going to do to you. That's, we grew up that way. You know, um, you get me, I'm going to get you. That, you know, that was just the way it was. And forgiveness, I mean, we went to church, but uh, it was interesting. This passage really does mean a lot to me for forgiveness. Um because did, Christ did forgive us, but and we need to be kind to one another and forgiving one another. It's it's that important for us as well as the other person. Christ forgave us. He's the greatest example of forgiveness. I mean, even on the cross, he says, forgive them for they know not what they do. I mean, it's the key. But we as, I'm just going to lay it out there. We as human beings are very good at forgiving people. Maybe, maybe you're, those that are watching are awesome at it. But, you know, sometimes I want to say, man, I do forgive right off the bat. Sometimes I don't. I, I do. God continues to work on me without holding a grudge. Even, even, not even, well, God's still working on me. I'll just say that. God's always working on me every single day. So, the being kind to one another, tender heart, forgiving one another. Start there. Be kind to one another. Forgiving one another, right? Being kind is something that we can do. We can practice that. Forgiving one another. Uh, just as God in Christ forgave us. Start practicing that. Put that in your daily practice because you know what? <laughs> Throughout your day, someone's going to tick you off. And, and you're like, well, what if they didn't know they did something wrong? That, you know, in your heart, in your, you know, hey, you know, uh, you may not know that you did this to me. And, oh, and they would probably say, I'm sorry, or, you know, get over it. <laughs> but you know what? If they, if they say, oh, I didn't know I did that to you. Cool. Um, but at least you, you open that, 
that avenue of conversation. I, I, that has happened to me several times, that conversation that says, you know, um, you hurt me, you, you did this. And they said, oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. You know, this is a key verse for today that just want to challenge you to flip the script and what what typical people do is, hey, I'm going to hold a grudge. I'm going to not forgive that person, but forgive people. So get out your notebook, write this verse out. This is really something that that you really can dive into and really think about, right? So get out your notebook. Ephesians 4.32 in the ESV, it says, be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. You've been forgiven, so forgive one another. Key, key passage. So write that verse out, put an O, observe it, A, apply it to your life, P, pray. So we're going to pray. If you have any prayer requests, go ahead and put that in the comment area, and we're going to pray. Let's pray. Lord, thank you. Thank you so much for, Lord, just, just teaching us how to forgive. And Lord, I do pray a blessing upon those watching now and those watching later. Encourage their heart. Pray that you give them an amazing day. I pray that, Lord, that you just uh, uh, pray for those that need healing today. I pray that you heal them. I pray for my healing, that you heal my, my migraine. I pray that, Lord, that you just protect them who are well, to keep well. I pray for our government, that, Lord, that you uh, uh, give them wisdom. I pray for um, our economy, that you turn around. I pray for... Um, for those that are in need, that need, that you just provide for them. I pray for that you help us to be a blessing, those that we come in contact. I pray for those that literally, that you give us the opportunity to share the gospel with. Lord, thank you so much for those opportunities. And I do thank you, Lord Jesus, for today. Lord, just bless the rest of this day. Lord, may we be an example of your forgiveness to the people that we come in contact with. Lord, thanks for the day. In your name, amen. Have a blessed day. God bless you. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Have an amazing, amazing Tuesday. God bless you.